Tonight we are hearing from the parents of those kidnapped newborn twins from Livonia. The terrifying ordeal ending with both babies back in their parents' arms. And now the investigation into what truly happened and why ramps up. Sean Lay now live with what we've found out today. Sean. Well, we found out a lot. We still have a lot of questions. Did talk to dad of these twins, clutching one of his twins, other twin next to uh, him in a chair here at Children's Hospital. Mom holding on tight as well. Both left here. Uh, twins are absolutely fine. Mom and dad have calmed down. They are fine as well. They tell me all this has to do with people connecting with them on a mom's Facebook group they say led to their twins abduction overnight. Take a look. The parents of the abducted twins reaching out to me on FaceTime this afternoon as they held their baby boys inside Children's Hospital. The 14-day-old twins abducted last night from the couple's room at the Quality Inn in Livonia. The mom and dad and twin boys were seeking safety there after they say people came to their home this past Saturday here on Patton on the city's west side and tried to break in. Yeah, they came there first. That's, that's why we had to get out of here. They broke in my house over there on Patton. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't know that. That was them that did that. The twins' father, Calvin Bridges, says people reached out to the twins' mom on Facebook offering help, gift cards, diapers, wipes. But Saturday, people arrived trying to get into their home. The family says they went to the Quality Inn for safety, not knowing who was at their home trying to break in. Another offer of help was made. Two women came to the room at the hotel and took the twins, sparking an Amber Alert. Twelve hours later, those twins were taken to the Detroit Police 9th Precinct. As you can imagine, and the entire precinct was on high alert. Uh, we got the same Amber Alert that you all had or got. And uh, so to see them walk in with the, the, with the two babies, we we're all very, very happy. Uh, but then we have to get into make sure that they're okay and get them to the hospital. So the officers went right into that mode, quickly getting them over to the hospital uh, to make sure that they were treated and in and, uh, and, and good condition. Only local four cameras were there at the 9th Precinct to see Livonia police take a man and woman into custody. The twins taking the children's hospital to be checked out and reunited with their parents. Just don't go. Just get the help from the state, man. Don't go on Facebook looking for help. Get the help from the state. We got a lot of government assistance out here. Don't go on Facebook looking. You got enough help out here. All you got to do is go sign up with the program and they're going to help you out. How relieved are you to get your boys back? Man, I got a big release. I'm happy, man. I love it. Absolutely. Dad telling me, I'm happy, man. I love them. Love the twins. He says, stay off Facebook pages. Don't connect with people on there. He says, uh, go through the proper channels. That's the situation right now. The twins, guys, absolutely fine. Checked out here in the hospital. Released to mom and dad. Amber Alert, we all got on our phones. That's been canceled as well. Just check with Livonia Police. I said, who's the man and woman taken into custody at Ninth Precinct? We watched them be arrested. They said, they're still working on that. Uh, who are the two women we see in that security camera video from the Quality Inn in Livonia? Police say they're making progress on that. No official arrests, however. We hope to learn more about this tomorrow. Again, twins are fine. Mom and dad are fine. Back to you. Just happy. It's a great ending for the twins and those babies are okay. Sean, we appreciate your report.